greeting to all my dear students welcome back for today's english class today we are going to see the second prose of second term sir isaac newton the ingenious scientist the so ingenious scientist mean very clever sir isaac newton you know very well he is the inventor of gravitation force okay very famous scientist so that's called they said ingenious very clever very clever scientist okay page number 63 in your new book so the author name is nathaniel hathorn nathaniel hathorn take page number 63 the lesson starts we'll start from 64 section 1 on christmas day in the year 1642 Isaac Newton was born at the small village of Hulsthorpe in England. Little did his mother think when she beheld her newborn babe that he was destined to explain many matters which had been mystery ever since the creation of the world. So my dear children, Isaac Newton was born on 1642 on Christmas day. Okay, Christmas when we are celebrating Christmas every December every year December 25th okay wow. so on christmas day 1642 isaac newton was born in england okay little did his mother think so his mother she didn't think that even a little she didn't think that even a little manner what uh, when she behold her newborn babe that he was destined to explain many matters which had been mystery ever since the creation of the world so when she behold her small baby she didn't think that her baby in future he is going to give answers for many mysteries in the world she didn't think like that he uh, he would become a great scientist in this world he would going to give a answers for many mysteries in this world so his mother she didn't think but he become a great scientist in this world isaac father being dead mrs newton was married again to a clergyman so when he was a, a baby when he was in a, a baby hood so his father was died okay so mrs newton mrs newton means isaac's mother was married again to a clergyman married again she was got a second married she got second married as a uh, in a, a clergyman clergyman means the one who work in the church pastors uh, like that okay pastor his mother was uh, once again married a clergyman and went to reside at north with them so after she got second marriage she went to reside reside means live at the north with them isaac was left to the care of his good old grandmother who was very kind to him and sent him to school so after his mother went to another person so uh, she got another um, got married another person he was left with his good grandmother good grandmother here they mention means uh his grandmother took care of him in a very good manner so she was very kind to him that's what given him so and sent him to school so she only uh, brought up isaac that babe small babe so uh, in a very kind uh, lovable manner and uh, she only sent him to school isaac grandmother in his early years isaac was chiefly remarkable for his ingenuity okay in all mechanical occupations so in his early years i already told you he is a ingenious scientist very clever scientist in his uh, early years in his uh, boyhood days in his early years itself he was chiefly remarkable for his ingenuity so remarkable means very special okay uh, very special uh, remarkable uh, very special manner he was he had a, a great mechanical uh, knowledge that's what remarkable for his ingenuity in all the mechanical occupations so he was very interested he had a good knowledge in mechanical occupations he had a set of little tools so even in even he was a small boy but he had a set of little mechanical tools that's what given and saw of various sizes saw means uh, uh, the cutter which is used blade which is used to cut the uh, wood and all okay so mechanical tools and uh, a uh, saws of various sizes various sizes of saws cutter manufactured by himself so he himself manufactured this uh, 
uh, tools and the cutters and all. Okay. With the aid of these, Isaac contrived to make many curious articles. With the aid of, with the help of these uh, um, tools and the saws, he contrived many curious articles. Many curious articles means uh, he invented, uh, he manufactured many things, small, small things, okay, by using this uh, tools and the saws. At which he worked with so much skill that he seemed to have been born with saw or chisel in his hand. So, what people, uh, he seemed that um, he was very uh, genius in, in his childhood itself. So, the people uh, thought that he seemed to have been born with saw or chisel in his hand. He is a, uh, by nature, he was born with the tools and the saws. The people thought that in, by his, by burn, he, uh, Having that, so by burn, have been born with the saw or chisel in his hand means in burn, an in burn ability. People would say in burn ability. Okay, so by burn, he has uh, burn. Uh, he born along with the uh, um, chisel and uh, tools. The people, other people, they thought like that because uh, since he was a very uh, young boy, small boy, he had a very great knowledge of mechanism. That's what people thought that uh, thought like that he was born along with the tools and the saws that's what the neighbors looked with vast admiration at the things which Isaac manufactured the neighbors the neighbors and all they were thought like that vast admiration at the things which Isaac manufactured so they were admired him a lot praised him admired him a lot because of the things he was manufactured in his early days so, and his old grandmother, I suppose, was never wary of talking about him. So, his uh, grandmother, she always uh, talking about his uh, achievements, his knowledge. She was never, uh, she never got tired. She always talk about him, always uh, proud of him. So, she didn't got tired, not stop uh, talking about uh, Isaac Newton. She was always talking about his uh, skill. She was, all, she was always talking about his uh, uh, cleverness. So that's what it is given. He will make a capital workman one of these days. She would probably say, no fear, but Isaac will do well in the world and be rich man before he dies. So what she, uh, his grandmother would, would say, he will make a capital workman. Capital workman means uh, the one who do all the Household works, okay. So electrical work and uh, mechanical work, likewise. One of these days, she would probably say, "No fear, but what Isaac will do well in the world and be rich man before he dies." So his grandmother said, "One day he will become a rich man in this world." So that's what he said. No fear. There is no doubt. One day Isaac will success. He will be succeed in this in his life, and he will be, before he dies. He become a very rich man in this world. That's what his grandmother would say always. Okay. Some of his friends, no doubt, advised Isaac's grandmother to apprentice him to a clockmaker. Apprentice, helper. Okay. You know, apprentice, this word very well. Uh, helper. So, because of his knowledge in uh, mechanic mechanism, uh, his friends and all, what he suggested to his grandmother, uh, you just... Uh, Advise this grandmother, apprentice him to a clockmaker. So, let him uh, apprentice to a clockmaker. Okay, just join him in a, as an apprentice of clockmaker. Okay, so clockmaker means uh, the place the people make a clock. So, the friends and all advice to grandmother, just uh, add, uh, just uh, apprentice him to a clockmaker. Apprentice, uh, just admit him in the place where the clocks and all make no so just uh, apprentice him to a clockmaker so for besides his mechanical skills because he had a lot of mechanical skills so they gave this idea to his grandmother okay besides his mechanical skill the boy seemed to have taste for mathematics so one side he had a good knowledge of mechanical so mechanical sense besides along with that 
he had a taste of mathematics so he had a good very good interest in maths mathematics also so that's what which would be very useful to him in this in that profession so um one said he had a knowledge of mechanical knowledge and another said he had a interest in maths so in that uh, interest in maths would help him in his profession in his mechanical profession okay so that's what which would very useful to him in that profession so and that so uh, usually that clock mechanics some and all we uh, we must know that time we must know that uh, knowledge of uh, max because the clocks and all based on the time based no it will be uh, working in the time based minutes uh, hours uh, so time based it will be worked so since he had a uh, uh, interested in max it was useful for him in his profession okay that's what they given and then in due time isaac would set up for himself and would manufacture curious clocks so in the due time that uh, uh, right time he was uh, manufactured a curious clocks so in his boyhood itself he was a curious clocks like those the contain set of dancing figures so he he invented uh, manufactured a uh, various type of clocks okay so various type of clocks so such as uh, like those who contain sets of dancing so one clock uh, inside uh, a figure it was dancing like a figure so that's what dancing figures which issue from the dial plate when the hour is struck so every hour there is a figure inside the clock it it will be dancing every hour instead of bell so usually the clocks will uh, ring the bells every hour every half an hour and every one hour okay it will bell it will ring a bell so but the manufacture of uh, isaac uh, clocks it was a different manner he was manufactured a clock so in the inside the clock it there was a figure it was dancing every one hour okay it was dancing every one hour so like those contain sets of dancing figures which issues from the dial plate so it was a set in the dial plate when the hour is struck or like those where a ship sails across the face of the clocks so another type of clock is uh, he was set a sails a ship ship like okay so uh, if every one hour the ship sails from one side to another side that is another type of clock so he, do, he was uh, fit inside the clock okay like a ship that ship like figure it is sails from one side to another side so various type of clocks he made that's what and is seen tossing up and down on the waves and often and the pendulum vibrates so the pendulum vibrates it is a usual the pendulum vibrates is a usual clock a dancing figure is another clock and the ship sailing is a another type of clock various type of clock he was manufactured in his uh, early days boyhood days indeed there was some ground for supposing that isa could devote himself to the manufacture of clocks since he had already made one of kind which nobody had ever heard before it was set of going not by wheels and weights like other clocks but by the tapping of water this was an object of great wonderment to all the people in the neighborhood and it must be confessed that there are few boys or men either who could contrive to tell what what a clock is it it is it's my it's means of bowl of water yes so the, this paragraph uh, what says uh, already isaac manufactured various clocks uh, the clocks uh, with the dancing figure the clock with the sailing ship uh, so another clock he was contrived contrived means invented so another clock he was contrived so what is that a clock so which is um weights like a other clocks it was not uh, weights like a other clocks it was uh, um working with the dropping of water so that's what so it was a only dropping of water this clock is working so it was the remarkable invention of uh, isaac newton okay 
so it was set going not by wheels and weights so usually the clocks are it was uh, walking with the wheels and weights wheels so it was set with wheels and weights so but this clock uh, so special clock it was uh, working by the dropping of water okay that is the special that is the beauty of this uh, clock okay dropping of water that's what this was an object of great wonderment so all the people they were uh, it, it was a very wonderment all the people uh, who surrounded him they admired him they uh, praised him and they become very uh, surprised because by seeing this uh, water dropped clock okay so all the people in the neighborhood and it must be confessed that there are few by some of the people say is it uh, what uh, clock is worked by a dropping water no it is not possible i uh, isaac newton may uh, find out uh, in a wrong manner there is no possible uh, clock is worked by a water so he might invent in a wrong manner some people say okay some of the boys some of the boys say like that he might contrived in a wrong manner so many people were accepted that only few people said uh, gave a negative command it might be a wrong one so that's what besides the water clock isaac made a sundial so besides the water clock this is the water clock so what he invented isaac made a sundial sundial so because of the uh, sunshine because based on the sunshine he invented another clock so in what direction the sun uh, shade is come in what direction it was come come to this uh, world in what direction it said to that world okay well, said to the earth so that's what besides the water clock isaac made a sundial okay based on the sundial based on the sunshine sunshade he invented a another clock okay thus his grandmother was never at a loss to know the hour so uh, by using that sundial clock so in those days your uh, grandparents and all they would say by seeing the sun by seeing that uh, um, uh, climate by seeing the climate without any uh, scientific uh, news without any uh, nowadays we have that uh, previous news prayer news about that uh, storm or cyclone or uh, full of uh, uh, what to say rain okay so in those days there was no uh, scientific uh, news is and all so but isaac newton he was very precisely very clearly he was find out that sundial clock by using that his grandmother she would uh, came to know the time very clear manner by using that sundial clock and all she came to know the time very clear manner that's what so for the water clock would tell in that shade and the dial in the sunshine so the sundial is said to be still existent at hulstro on the corner of the house where isaac dwelt so still today uh, the sundial is said to be still in existence at hulstro so the sundial clock is kept in the hulstro that hulstro is a place hulstro on the corner of house where isaac dwelt so the corner corner of the house where the isaac newton uh, he was uh, living so in that house still today that sundial clock was kept in order to in memory of him okay so that what isaac possessed a wonderful faculty of acquiring knowledge by the simplest means so possessed a wonderful faculty of acquiring acquiring means gaining knowledge wonderful he, uh, possessed a wonderful faculty of acquiring knowledge by the simplest means so he learned a uh, wonderful knowledge is through small small things so he didn't uh, study a uh, uh, big source of books and all but he even a small small things uh, he was thinking and he was gaining the knowledge that's what they are saying simplest means in very very simple ways he gain his knowledge okay that's what for instance when what method do you suppose he took to find out the strength of the wind do you know uh, they are they have given an example do you know how he uh, find the strength of the wind so in what way did he use any uh, equipments or a scientific instrument to find out the uh, strength of the wind no no 
he didn't use any weapons or he didn't use any scientific uh, instruments to find out the uh, strength of the wind but in a very small manner he find out the length of the wind how he jumped against the wind if the winds blow means what he would do he jumped against the wind so and by the length of his jump by the length of his jump how long he jumped the length of his jump he find out the strength of the wind so in very small manner he didn't use any weapons he didn't use any scientific equipments so he just jump against the wind and he find out the length of the wind and he find out the um, strength of the wind okay that's what gentle breeze a brisk gale or tempest gentle breeze it's a very soft soft breeze and a gale it's a very violent violent breeze gale means very violent violent one and or a tempest tempest means cyclone so because uh, of his jump against the uh, wind he would find out that it is a breeze it is a gale it is a tempest various type of winds the strength of various types of winds he found okay that's what is given so thus even in his boyish sports he was continually searching out the secrets of philosophy so what do you mean by philosophy philosophy means uh, uh, so so that is something uh, we are we are thinking something philo- philosophical theories so there is a lot of phil- philosophical theories are there okay so that's what uh, many theories the people would find out many philosophical theories so even in his uh, boyish sports he was continually searching out the secrets of philosophy so even in his uh, game when he was a uh, boyhood when he was a small boy while he was playing game even that time itself he would find out some philosophical theory in his game also okay that's what they are saying not far from his grandmother residence there was a windmill so there was a windmill very near to his grandmother's home okay not far from grandma's very near to his grandmother's home there was a windmill which operated on a new plant so in, in his new plant it was operated it was worked in a new plant Isaac was in the habit of going there frequently. Uh, I already told you he had a uh, very interested in mechanism. So he frequently, frequently means often, often he go to go and visit that um, windmill. Okay, frequently, often he would go and would spend whole hours in examining its various parts. He would spend whole hours, so whole hours in examining the various parts of the windmill. That's what's given. while the mill was at rest he pried into the internal machinery so while the uh, windmill was in rest means when it is it was not working in that time what he would do he pried pried into its uh, internal machinery pried means investigate researching researching its uh, internal machinery how that uh, uh, inside the machine machines and all uh, set okay how it was set inside so internal machinery he was researching the internal machinery when the machine was not worked so when its broad sails were set in motion by the wind he watched the process by which the millstones were made to revolve so when the windmill was work it was when it was working what he would do he watched the process by which the millstones were made to revolve how the millstones and all revolve okay how it was revolve that's what and the crush the grain how the millstones are revolve and crush the grain so millstone means it was used to crush the grains In those days it was used to crush the grains and all okay so how the stones were uh, revolve how the stones are revolving and how to crush the grain was put into the hopper 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 the those days our grandparents and all used a hopper to crush the grains so that's what hopper after gaining a thorough knowledge of its construction he had he was observed to be unusually busy with his tools so after gaining the thorough uh, knowledge of the windmill what he did he was observed to be usually busy with his tools he became once again he was become uh, very busy with his tools so uh, obviously what is going to do yes is going to do going to contrive or invent a another windmill okay by after gaining uh, thorough knowledge by watching this uh, windmill he is going to 
invent a new windmill that's what it was not long before his grandmother it was not long he didn't take a long time okay he didn't take a long time after uh, watching this uh, windmill he didn't take a long time he was very busy with his tools i told you so uh, and all the neighbor knew what isaac had been about he had constructed a model of the windmill so he didn't take a long time he constructed a model of a windmill he invented a new windmill okay though not so large it was not so large so what the uh, uh, windmill which was invented by isaac newton was not a large one like the uh, grandmother's uh, like the windmill like the grandmother's residence there was a windmill no it was very huge one but the windmill which was invented by isaac it is a very small compared with that windmill it was very small one okay so that's what uh isaac had been about he had constructed a model of the windmill though not so large i suppose as one of the box traps which boys set to catch squirrels yet every part of the mill and its machinery was completed so th- uh, the windmill the isaac's windmill was very small it it was like a trap to catch the squirrel squirrel okay so when we want to catch the squirrels we will make a trap no like we small trap the windmill was windmill was okay but all the me- uh, mechanism all the mechanism was very um, completed inside that uh, small windmill all the mechanism was very systematically uh, set inside that small windmill that's what machinery was complete so all the machinery was complete even th- even in its uh, small windmill but he uh, fit all the machineries uh, ma- machines inside that okay that is the um, talent of isaac newton so usually the windmill would become uh, be a uh, very large one but isaac newton he was invented a small windmill but even in that small in windmill itself he uh, fit all the machines so that's what that shows his talent okay machinery was complete its little sails were neatly made of linen its little sails so the, the sails and all it was uh, neatly made with the linen linen cloth okay linen cloth uh, it is a very uh, soft and uh, um uh, weightless cloth weightless cloth that's what and whirl round very swiftly and whirl round whirl round very swiftly very fastly the whirl it's uh, rotate very fastly when the mill was placed in the draught of air so when the mill was placed in the draught of air it was uh, revolve it was uh, round rotate very fastly swiftly means uh, very fastly okay so even a puff of wind from the isaac's mouth so that uh, windmill the small windmill it was uh, rotated very fastly even the puff of wind from that isaac's mouth even the puff of wind means very small wind we are doing like that so that is puff of wind even from the puff of wind from isaac's mouth the windmill which he invented uh, invented was it was uh, rotated very fastly that is the talented of talent of isaac isaac newton that's what so even the puff of wind from isaac mouth or from a pair of billows okay was sufficient to set the sails in motion so it was even that puff of wind and the uh, from pair of billows so that even the small air what they are coming to say even the small air is sufficient to rotate the isaac's windmill that is the concept okay so that's what and what was most curious if a handful of grains of wheat were put into the little hopper they would soon be converted into snow white flour so what is the next thing okay the windmill is now very small one he contrived he invented so next thing what what is the use of windmill it has to grind the uh, it has to grind the wheat okay it has to grind the wheat grains so that's what so a handful of grains it was grind very perfect manner isaac's windmill 
it was a grin the handful of grains it was a uh, grin very perfect manner that's what they are saying a uh, wheat were put into the little hopper a handful of wheat is put into the little hopper i already told the hopper okay which is uh, part of the windmill okay that machine okay when we put in the handful of um, a uh, wheat inside the hopper they would soon soon become contracted into a snow white flour perfect flour it become a perfect flour snow white flour that's what given so so, so this is what that uh, uh, invent, uh, invention of the uh, isaac newton so now we move to that uh, section 2 section 2 um, take page number 67 Isaac playmates were enchanted with this new windmill they thought that nothing so pretty and so wonderful had ever been seen in the whole world so his playmates his playmates means what his friends his playmates means his friends his friends and all would say enchanted enchanted uh, means uh, they they praised they very delighted enchanted enchanted they very delighted with this new windmill his friends and all very delighted very happy very praised about us a uh, new windmill what they said they thought that nothing so pretty in this world nothing so pretty than this windmill in this world we are having lot of things in this world but this windmill is so greater than in this world this windmill small windmill which was invented by isaac is so greater than all the things in this world it was so greater than all the things in this world that's what it was so pretty and so wonderful had ever been seen in this world so it was never seen in this world this is the thing it was ever seen in this world such a, a great thing in this world that's what is the meaning such a great thing in this world other friends and uh, uh, playmates means friends they would say but isaac said one of them so one but one of the friends of isaac said one of them said to isaac you have forgotten one thing that belongs to a mill so one of the uh, isaac playmates say one of the friends said like that isaac you forgot one thing in the windmill so isaac thought what what i forgot i did everything in a perfect manner only in my windmill so i didn't uh, forgot anything he said one of have you forgot one thing that belongs to a mill what is that Isaac asked him what is that what i forgot in my windmill okay asked isaac for you suppose that from the roof of the mill to its foundation so i i i invented i contrived my windmill from top to bottom it was very perfect man, a perfect manner i was uh, contrived i was invented i didn't forget anything i didn't forget anything even a small thing so I, it was very perfect okay he said it was very perfect he had um, forgotten nothing i didn't forgot anything okay i i didn't forgot anything i succeed why where is the miller said his friend so in a comical way comedy uh, in a comical way or uh, in a hila uh, very uh, joke he 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 make a joke to him he made a joke to him so okay your uh, windmill and all very perfect only so it is a small windmill it grinds perfectly the mechanics uh, inside the mechanics mechanical system and all very perfect manner okay but where is the miller okay where is the miller means what he said which thing you forgot the miller is not there miller is the one who operate the windmill where is the miller okay so why where is the miller said his friend uh, in a comic uh, uh, comical way in a comedy huh? make a joke in a joke way he he said like that okay uh, said his friend that is true but uh, i succeed that is true i must look out for one so yes i have to look out for one uh, miller okay i would look out for one said isaac and he set himself to consider how the deficiency should be supplied okay and he set himself to consider how the deficiency should be, how how can i fulfill this uh, deficiency this uh, deficiency how can i fulfill this deficiency there was no miller for my windmill how can i fulfill this deficiency so he was uh, thinking like that he might easily have made the miniature figure of man so he easily made a miniature figure okay 
besides the windmill side of the windmill he made a small figure of the miniature figure of the miller but then it would not have been able to move about but that uh, toy uh, a toy a figure uh, a, a toy a figure a doll is not uh, move it was not move he can easily made a miller beside this uh, windmill but it was it was not moving a doll is moving no is it is a doll is moving it was not moving but what he said and performed the duties of miller so it was not moving so i didn't make a small doll beside the mill but perhaps some two legged miller are quite as dishonest as this small quandrap so what he said but perhaps some two legged millers are quite as dishonest as this small quandrap so quandrap means four legged animals so two legged millers are quite as dishonest so the two legged millers also they were dishonest like the four legged animals so that's what he say here he said like uh, so uh, he didn't believe the uh, small figure he didn't believe the doll he he, he didn't don't have any idea to make a doll besides this uh, windmill so that's what he say it would be a dishonest if i make a small figure besides my uh, windmill means it, it would be a dishonest for him okay that's what i didn't because the doll it was not working that the figure it was not working it was not moving so that's what i didn't uh, do any uh, figure i didn't do any uh, non living figure beside my windmill that's what he said so uh, his friend just uh, say said one joke only so there is the miller there was no miller uh, beside your windmill but even that small joke also he took as a serious thinking that's what isaac newton okay yes as isaac grew older it was found that he had far more important matters in his mind than the manufacture of toys so as isaac grew older it was found that he had far more important matters in his mind than the manufacture of toys so that's what like the little windmill he was thinking like that so toys so uh, more important matters in his mind than the manufacture of toys like the little windmill so that's what he was thinking that uh, manufacturing of toy okay so that's what they are saying once again all day long it left to himself he was either absorbed in thought or engaged in some book of mathematics or natural philosophy at night so after that so he was uh, engaged himself he was devoted himself he spent lot of time with the books that's all all day long it left to himself he was either absorbed in when he left himself all day long means what he would do for example uh, if you uh, for example for uh, the school a uh, declared holiday what you will do all day you are play all day you will watching tv all day you will playing with the cricket with your friends but isaac newton what did if he left a day whole day alone whole day alone what he would do he just uh, go through books lot of books okay he engaged himself with a lot of books that's what so engaged in some book of mathematics some book of mathematics or natural philosophy i already told you philosophy is a theories big theories okay so that's what philosophy natural philosophy how that uh, um, sun raising that the stars the galaxy it's what it works okay so this uh, natural philosophy so he was thinking always thinking about the natural philosophies of the world okay at night i think it probable he looked up with the reverential curiosity to the stars during the night time what do you do you just look at the stars reverential stars engaged uh, looked up with the reverential curiosity to the stars okay reverential curiosity to the stars so a uh, very interesting manner he just he would look to the stars during the night time okay and wondered whether they were uh, words like our own and how great was their distance from the earth so what do you think so how uh, long 
how great, how far it was from the world, from the earth. How far from these stars from the earth. He would uh, thought like that. And how great was their distance from the earth. How great distance these stars are from this earth. He would think all these uh, questions he was wondered in his mind. He was uh, thinking the nature, nature philosophy of the world. Okay, that's what. Yes. Uh, and what was the power that kept them in their courses? So what is the power? What is the power? Huh? Uh, is the God, is it the God or it is some mechanical system uh, kept all the, uh, hold all the, the stars and the um, planets and all? on the a galaxy, so on the orbit, so how the orbit, orbits are working, uh, revolving, okay. So he was thinking, wondering all the questions in his mind, okay, how that stars, so how the sun, stars, and the moons, it was uh, holding, what power holding all this uh, galaxy. So he was thinking all these questions among himself, okay. So perhaps even so early in life, Isaac Newton felt a... Uh, Prestiment that he should be able hereafter to answer all the questions. So, presentiment uh, means a thing is going to talk in the future. In the in future, you, you will ask questions about some things. So, he was thinking all these uh, questions and all in his early hood itself. Okay, so the thing is going to talk in the future. He was thinking in his early age itself. He was thinking. Uh, uh, future things and all. So that's what. Hereafter, to answer all these questions. So he is going to give answer for all these questions. So, my dear students, so the remaining part will continue the next class. So that the first uh, section is got over. So in this section, what we learn for Isaac Newton is that ingenious scientist. He is a very clever scientist. He was invented various uh, clocks. Uh, when uh, the clock, especially uh, dropping water, the clock which worked dropping of water. After that, he observed the mechanism, windmill mechanism nearby his uh, grandmother's house. After that, he himself invented a small windmill. It was uh, worked very perfect manner. So after that, the second part, what we uh, what we seen. So he was thinking about the natural philosophy. So how the suns and the stars and all kept hold on this galaxy. So he was very uh, deep thinker. So that's what we completed in this week. So you just go through my dear uh, children, go through. Uh, this is uh, uh, each and every line. If you uh, go through study only, it will be understandable to you. So it is a very nice uh, story of Sir Isaac Newton. Go, go through one or twice or thrice, so it will be understandable to you. So, till we meet the next week, this is your English teacher signing off.